Hey guys, hey, it's John with Real Blue Custom Rods. So today I'm down here in uh, Marine Area 13, down in the South Puget Sound, uh, off of the Sasquatchew Creek. And I decided to come out here this afternoon and kind of fish the incoming tide. So we're basically, um, low tide was at about 12.43, so we're about halfway through uh, the incoming tide. And I'm just down here on the beach working uh, a jig, uh, a pink jig. Uh, and just trying to catch some of these coho that you can catch down here between October, November, and December. Uh, so uh, let's see how it goes. Stay with me. All right, so, you know, down here in uh, Reen Area 13 in the South Puget Sound, you know, October uh, is a good time really really chasing three different types of fish uh, or three species of fish, right? You have the coastal cutthroat, uh, which is always fun, especially if you've got, uh, if you're on, on, a, on a fly rod, about six weight fly rod, um, but coastal cutthroat, always fun, all right? Uh, then you also have uh, chum salmon, and then uh, you have your cohos that are moving through here. So it's, it's always a good time to come out, even just from the beach like I'm doing, as you can see, and just working the shoreline and uh, casting out the jig and just kind of working it back, giving it a little pop uh, and trying to entice the bite. Hey guys, so real quick, I just wanted to talk about some of the equipment that I'm using uh, today when I'm here on this little trip. So uh, I'm using a basically a Penn Slammer 3 um, 500, a little bit big for what I'm doing for salmon fishing, but it's part of my travel uh, rod kit that I like to use and take with me wherever I go, uh, which is, it, it guarantees me uh, really some, you know, I've, I've got good reeling power. I'm able to take up a lot of feet. Uh, depending on what type of fishing I'm doing. So it gives me really a universal uh, reel to do a lot of different type of fishing, especially when it's paired with my ORP uh, travel rod. So this is a three piece, seven and a half foot, um, 10 to 20 pound fast action, medium heavy power rod um, that I like to use for a lot of different styles of fishing. I take it everywhere I go when I'm traveling. Uh, so there's a lot of fish out there, out there in the world that need to be caught, but it's a beautiful rod. Um, it has uh, wind cylindrical grips on it uh, and Fuji uh, spinning guides. It's just a great all around rod that I like to use. So that's, that's the kit that I was using um, this afternoon out here um, chasing some of these silvers. So all I'm doing is I'm just working this jig and trying to just get a little action. Uh, almost like vertical jigging, uh, except for, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, uh, you know, reel it in um, and just get a, and just give it a little pop to give that jig a little action, you know, pull it tight, let it give it some slack and then pull it tight again, trying to entice the hit. Beautiful October time frame. Right. 
Okay, guys, I had the camera off. I had the camera off, and look at that trophy right there. All right, simmer down. That's a nice coho. Look at that. Nice coho. Oh, there he goes. Hey guys, so uh, that's it pretty much. Uh, you know, enjoyed a good day. <laughs> Late afternoon, uh, fish trying to pull in uh, some silvers or some cohos. Look like we got lucky on uh, one silver. So, uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoy the videos that I'm putting out there. Uh, please hit the like button and uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, and also leave a comment. Let me know what you think uh, and how we're doing. Uh, so until next time, take care.